Hey guys, today I am doing a deck profile on my Fairy Drytron deck. Now, if you guys are subscribed or watch my videos, you guys know that a few we few weeks ago, I think, maybe a month, I posted a video on a budget Drytron deck. Well, now I am sharing with you my full-powered Drytron deck. So, yeah, the, the card's name and everything will be right up here. And without further ado, let us get started. So the first card, as you guys can see on screen, is Drytron Alpha Thuban. This card is going to help you search your ritual monsters, and it's going to become a big, um, really in handy. Then we have Drytron Zeta Alphiba. Uh, if I am pronouncing that wrong, which I probably am, guys. And you feel the need to correct me because it gets on your nerves. Go ahead and put it in the comments and I'll see if I can pronounce it right there. <laughs> but this card is basically your spell searcher. Not your only one as you'll see later on in this video, but yes, your spell searcher. Then we got Drytron Delta Autolus. Oh wait, by the way guys, in case you can't see, I'm playing three copies of Alpha Thuban and three copies of Zeta Alphibo. And I'm also playing three copies of Delta Atlas. But this card, whenever it's summoned, you can reveal either a ritual or a ritual spell in your hand. So either a monster or a spell, ritual related. And then you can draw an extra card. Comes very in handy sometimes, most of the time for me. Then we got Drytron Gamma Altain. And once more, three copies, guys. And this card, whenever it's summoned, will let you summon another Drytron in your grave. I have found this card to come in handy on multiple occasions. Very, very good to help me out in this game. With this deck. Next, we got the new card that everyone's talking about for this deck. Diviner of Herald. Now, this card is very helpful. If you guys can see right here. Sorry. It says right there, Tuner. Right there tuner right there and that actually comes in very handy so when this card is summoned you can send one fairy monster from your extra deck to the graveyard now some of you guys might not think that's a big deal but here are the two cards we will be sending sorry elder entity Nitus. i am playing one copy of this that's for anyone who wants to get a feature jump on that and this card whenever it's into the graveyard will let you destroy monsters so this will help you just pop things off like just randomly and then you have Herald of Arclight, three of these guys. And this card will let you add a ritual spell or monster. And there's a little bonus on top of sending a card to the grave. It can also it will also increase the Viner Herald's levels. And if you guys can't didn't see, both these monsters are level four. And this is a level two. So that will make it level six. Combine that with a Drytron, and you'll get the Synchro Monster Clearwing Synchro Dragon. One copy of him. So yes, very good card in my opinion. I love it. So yeah. And then we got Eva. Poor little Eva. She looks so sad. But she's very cool. Because when she's sent to the graveyard, usually due to our Herald of Orange Light, we can banish up to two other fairies. Once more, probably going to be Herald of Orange Light. And you probably have Diviner of Herald. We can add two more fairies. So, yeah, it's going to be another blue orange light, and it's going to be another herald, most likely. Yeah, and she's only one copy, guys. Oh, and Diviner of Herald is three. Then we got Vanity's Ruler. I did see a few deck profiles of this deck before releasing this to get a better sense of it. And some people, a lot of people didn't have this, but I really like the card. It comes in very handy as a good starting move. And if your opponent get past it, oh well, you got many more moves. If they don't, well then you can keep it around and just play with it still because none of your cards are affected by having it on your field. And this is one copy. And for those of you who don't know, it just prevents your opponent from special summoning. Very useful, although it cannot be special summoned itself. But eh, it's a good trade-off. Then we got Drytron Mittenous Quadrants. Once more, I saw a lot of deck pros of people not playing this card, but I think it comes in handy. Its destruction effect doesn't happen too much, but the time it does happen, it, it has saved me from losing. 
and it's destroyer spell cards has given me an epic comebacks before and epic wins. So I am playing one copy of this card. Then we got Drytron Mechanist Drake Noids, which I'm playing one copy of once more. Because, as you guys know, the ritual is both summons from the grave, so unless it's, like, returned to your deck or banished, you can pretty much summon it over and over. But this card can, during your opponent's turn, which I love, you can banish Drytron from your grave, or basically that's any, some, this is the cards. And their combined attack points have to equal exactly 2,000 or exactly 4,000. So, yeah, your, your Drytrons, guys. It, it's gonna be your Drytrons. And then you can just destroy cards on your opponent's field or send them to the grave, which is better. So, yeah. But very useful card. Once more, save me multiple times. Then we got the, sadly limited, Cyber Angel Ben 10. So when this card is distributed, it's gonna be by your Ritual Spells or by your Drytrons abilities. Probably, most likely your Drytrons abilities, guys. And then you can add one Light Fairy. So you're either going to get your Herald, your Eva, your Diviner, or the one I get all the time, Vanity. And then, as you guys can see, we got a spell card. Three copies of Drytron Nova, letting us immediately summon a Drytron from our deck. Very helpful, even though their abilities don't pop off, you can send, them, you can tribute it for another Drytron and then pop off that Drytron later on since they're, they can be summoned from the grave. And I am playing two copies of Drytron F Fafner, their field spell. And when it's activated, you can add one Drytron Stellar Trap from your deck to your hand. And once per turn, if your opponent's, if a monster is normal or special wind, most likely your opponent, while, while you control a Drytron, you can reduce this monster level by one for every 1,000 attack points. I really don't know why you do this for your own card, but... If for some reason you guys find some weird combo for it, go ahead. But yeah, mostly your opponent just to like mess up if they're playing like an Xyz or Synchro deck. Then we got the Pot of Prosperity. So banish three or six cards from your extra deck and then excavate top cards, three or six cards, depending on which one you chose. And then, yeah, add one to your hand. Very helpful, guys. Then we got Cyber Emergency, letting us add one Light Machine. That cannot be normal summoned or set to your to our hand. And then yeah. And that you always usually add one of these. And although a few times I have found myself adding the other ritual to my hand to pull off some pretty cool combos. And I am playing one copy, one copy, of extra foolish burial. Now I'm uh, some people I think this is a pretty random one copy card to have. But I have found that it does come in handy every once in a while. I used to play three, but I after looking, I found that it really doesn't help that much all the time. I don't like it in my hand all the time, but I'll find that it saves me. And this card will just let me send any one of my monsters to the grave from my extra deck. And yeah, so I'll send Harold or Nitus, and it has saved me once or twice. I will be honest, it helps me put on some epic comebacks as well. But yeah. Then we got, of course, our ritual spell. Now, some people might be asking why you only have one copy. Well, this card can be some can be put back in your hand by just targeting one Drytron you control and then making it lose a thousand points. Now some people might not think that's a fair trade-off, but trust me, whenever you can just get rid of that Drytron and then bring it back later, it's very fair. Just don't target your ritual when you need it to have four thousand points. I have done that one time back when I first made this, and it cost me the duel. So just, just use your brain more than I do, guys. Then we have two copies of Dark Ruler No More. Very helpful. Gets past Dragoon. Thank goodness. Has saved me countless times. But I am only playing two because sometimes I'll draw it in my starting hand or when I don't need it. And I really would have preferred something else. So only two. And this card will just negate all of effects on monsters on the field. And your opponent takes no damage, which is horrible for you. But it helps when you can destroy your opponent's monsters and stuff now without having to worry about effects. And then, if you guys can see in this corner... Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to explain that. Dark Magician, Red Eyes Fusion, and Red Eyes Black Dragon. We all know it's coming. This is actually, believe it or not, something you I don't always go for. 
while I do use it, it has saved me a few times, once or twice. I don't always go for it as one. I don't like playing. I don't really like having people like just type in the chat. Man, you, yeah, it, it it gets it gets annoying. So yeah, don't always go for this. But if you feel like it, like you're in a corner, then just go ahead. Yeah, and as I said, one copy of Elder Entity Nis, three copies of Herald of Arclight, one copy of Clearing. These are kind of my, I'm going to say filler, but they have come in handy once or twice. I got IP Mascarina, Lena the Light Charmer Lustrous, Nightmare Unicorn, Nightmare Phoenix, and Apple Use of the Bow of the, God, Bow of the Goddess. If you guys do get this, then yeah, but if you guys use these, then okay, but I really don't use them that often. I never really find them too useful. Then I got Drytron Move Beta Fanfur, and that's only one copy. And this card is very useful, not for its attachment effect, but for the fact you can get rid of, you can still ritual summon using its overlay units as material. And then if you have another Drytron in your grave, you can use it and then make a cool combo off that after getting your ritual spell back by using targeting him. Or you can just keep around the extra monster, which is also very cool. Always good. Then we got Leerlusk Assembled Nightingale. Now, some people might be asking, why do you have a random Leerlusk Aegis in your deck? Well, this card can attack directly. And the next card in my, in my extra deck can benefit greatly whenever an Aegis monster attacks. If you guess that's Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus, then you are correct. Very good. You can only use its effect once if you, in, if you use, like, this 2 to summon Leerlusk. But I still find that it helps. I have only had to use this once or twice, usually in a desperate situation. But once more, you can also just use your Mubeta Fanfur. But I just found that Nightingale would also think be a good addition. Also, I was kind of running out of cards in my extra deck, so yeah. Then we got, of course, Dragoon. Yeah, no one saw that coming. Ever. Want to know what else no one saw coming? Try to plant Verte Anaconda. You guys never knew it. I guarantee it. If you guys did, then you guys are just geniuses. And if you didn't, you're still a genius because you watched the channel. So, yeah. Congratulate yourself. And in your side deck, I have Metronist Strytron. If your opponent plays a bunch of banished cards and then you end up losing your ritual spell, it's gonna suck. So then if you're playing a match, this next turn, this next duel, boom. Put in an extra ritual spell to help guarantee your chances. And for the same reasons, another Drytron Metronist Drakenoids. I didn't put the second ritual in here just because I don't find it as useful as Drakenoids, but yeah. Then if your opponent plays a butt ton of spell and trap cards, I've encountered this. We got our Harpy's Feather Duster. Very useful, come in handy a lot. Now we got some more fairies. We got two Herald of Purple Light. Basically, it's our Herald of Orange Light, except for traps. So if your opponent plays a lot of traps, yeah. Allergious players, watch out. Then we got one extra Herald of Orange Light, just in case. I haven't really needed more than two yet, but I, I guarantee someone's going to just pop a bunch of monster effect, and I'm going to need it. Guarantee it. Then we got Herald of Green Light, same thing for spells. Haven't encountered too many people I need to use this on, but it's in one or two. Then we got Black Rose. If your opponent just loves summoning a butt ton of monsters... Then, man, swap out Clear Wing for this Black Rose Dragon. Man, let's destroy everything. It's epic. And then we got King Kick in the Agashashi Fuchu. I swear I'm pronouncing that wrong. And if I am, I am super sorry if it offends you. But yeah, I it's unaffected by other cards' effects, which is great. And once per turn, I can attach two materials. And then this card cannot be destroyed, and I take no damage. This one won't let you trigger off... Um, Sky Thunder's effect, but it will give you a more powerful monster in return after you use all those cards overlay units. And guys, that is all I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the deck, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe, go follow me on Instagram, link in the description, and like the video.